Volcanoes lie dormant in the heart of Europe. What at first sounds as unlikely as beaches in Russia or palm trees in England is an explosive reality. The remains of mighty magma monsters lie hidden beneath our feet, and who knows, maybe one day they will even come back to life. Make sure to stay until the end to find out why scientists consider volcanic eruptions possible in Germany. Welcome, everyone. Before we dive into the depths of Upper Palatinate geology, let us pause for a moment and philosophize about the irony of fate. Hundreds of thousands of Germans travel to Iceland or Hawaii every year to marvel at active volcanoes, while a dormant volcanic landscape is waiting to be discovered right on their doorstep. Okay, it's not quite as spectacular as the eruptions in Iceland in the Upper Palatinate in Germany, but who knows what the future will bring. If you are as fascinated by such geological secrets as I am, then leave a subscription for the channel right now. It's absolutely free, you will never miss a new video again, and you will help me immensely. Thank you very much, guys. But now off to Germany. Where exactly do we have to go to go volcano hunting? The region that interests us extends from the Czech and Polish borders in the northeast through northern Bohemia and the Egerland to the upper Palatinate forest and the Fischtelgebirge. Let me know in the comments if you come from this area or have been there before. Unfortunately, I haven't been there yet, but I'm already planning the next volcano documentary. In any case, along this strip, the mantle and the overlying crust have bulged. This led to the formation of deep fractures through which magma could rise. Thus, an impressive chain of volcanoes formed along the so-called Eger Rift. If you are already lacing up your hiking boots and packing your backpack to climb imposing volcanic cones, I have to disappoint you a bit at first. Most of these volcanoes were active more than 20 million years ago, at the time when the Alps were folding. Since then, Mother Nature has done a thorough job and largely leveled the volcanic remains. What remains are often only the extraction shafts, the so-called diatremes filled with tuff and basalt. It may not sound particularly spectacular at first, but don't worry. There is still plenty for experienced volcanologists or curious amateur geologists to discover here. And indeed, researchers assume that the volcanism could still be active. One of the most well-known remnants of this volcanic past is the park stone near Weiden. This is an extinct volcanic cone in the northeast of Bavaria and is considered one of the best preserved basalt cones in Central Europe and is of particular geological and scenic importance. The volcano was active about 24 million years ago and produced amazing formations. Parkstein is now famous for its striking columnar basalt structures, which were formed by the slow cooling and shrinking of lava. These hexagonal columns resemble organ pipes and are the most distinctive feature of Parkstein. Alexander von Humboldt once referred to it as the most beautiful basalt cone in Europe. And that means something. After all, the man traveled extensively. Today, visitors at the Volcano Experience Center Parkstein can immerse themselves in the fascinating history of volcanism in the region. And who knows, you might just be standing on the next supervolcano. The volcanic history of the Upper Palatinate may not be written in full yet. In recent years, scientists have made some surprising discoveries that suggest that something might still be bubbling under our feet. In 2015, researchers discovered a previously unknown mar during drilling near Neuelbenreuth. A mar, by the way, is nothing more than a water-filled volcanic crater. And the exciting thing about it is that this mar probably only formed about 300,000 years ago. In geological terms, that's practically yesterday. Dr. Johann Rohrmüller from Bavarian State Office for Environment explains importance of discovery. These initial findings already provide evidence of volcanic activity in Bavaria during the Quaternary period, which is estimated to be a good 200,000 years old. It is truly astonishing when you consider that most of the volcanoes in the region are significantly older. Additionally, during measurements in Bernau in the district of Turchenreuth, the Bavarian State Office for the Environment discovered another young volcanic feature in 2019. It's a bit like suddenly finding a treasure chest while cleaning out the attic. It's just that in this case, the treasures consist of volcanic rock, which one probably wouldn't be so excited about finding in the attic. But what do these discoveries mean for the future? With so much volcanism, do we have to worry about an eruption? Fortunately, it is not quite that dramatic. Volcanologists assume that an eruption in the Upper Palatinate would not be expected for several hundred thousand years at the earliest. So don't panic. You do not need to change your vacation plans immediately and fear Pompeii-like scenarios in Weiden or Erbendorf. 
Nevertheless, it is worth keeping an eye on the region as these young volcanic activities could provide us with important insights into the processes occurring in the Earth's interior. They are also an exciting example of how dynamic and alive our planet is, even in regions that we thought were geologically dead. Another exciting phenomenon in the region is swarm earthquakes. These are a series of many small earthquakes that last for days or weeks. Dr. Horst Kemp from the German Research Center for Geosciences explains, We still don't know what the magma is made of or how far up the Earth's crust the molten rock rises. Only the signals from the source gases indicate that something is happening in the hidden depths. These swarm earthquakes could be a sign that magmatic processes are occurring deep beneath the Earth. Just imagine, while you are comfortably sipping your coffee in Neumarkt, molten rock might be making its way through the Earth's crust deep beneath your feet. Crazy, right? And speaking of, the volcanic past of the Upper Palatinate, it has not only shaped the landscape, but also continues to influence life in the region today. The spa towns of Karlsbad, Marianske Lasnie and Franciszkowie Lasnie owe their existence to volcanic activities from 2001, and anyone who drinks a bottle of mineral water from the region is essentially enjoying the last remnants of volcanic activity. Don't worry, this likely applies to beer from the region as well. But back to science. The study of volcanic activity in the Upper Palatinate is not only academically interesting, but also has practical implications. Profi. Professor Dr. Roland Eichhorn, head of the Geological Service at the State Office for the Environment, points out an important aspect. The question of how long ago a volcanic eruption occurred could have an impact on the search for a location for a nuclear waste repository. In fact, the northern Upper Palatinate is considered a potential candidate for a final repository. However, quaternary volcanism is an exclusion criterion for the site search. I mean, in other words, if it turns out that the volcanoes in the region have been active in the last 2.5 million years, then this could scupper plans for a final repository in the region. This shows how important it is to examine and understand the geological history of a region. To learn more about the volcanic past and possible future, scientists regularly carry out drilling. And these drillings are like a journey back in time. Each layer that is drilled through tells a story about the climate, vegetation, and geological processes of the past. Dr. Ernst Krumer, an expert on the district at the Bavarian State Office for the Environment, explains the significance of these drillings. In the water-rich and therefore oxygen-poor environment, pollen was preserved. These pollen can provide us with insights into what the environment looked like during the volcanic activity. Was it warm or cold? Were there forests or grasslands? All this information is preserved in the rock layers, like in a natural archive. However, not only the past can be read from these drillings, they also give us clues about what might happen in the future. Scientists look for signs of recent volcanic activity in the drill cores. If they find such signs, it could mean that the region is geologically more active than previously thought. And for those who now feel like going on a volcano expedition themselves, I can only recommend visiting the Upper Palatinate. Hike on the rugged Kulm, explore the Volcano Experience Center in Parkstein, or relax in one of the volcanically influenced healing baths. The exploration of volcanic activity in the Upper Palatinate is a perfect example of how exciting and surprising geology can be. And it shows us that even in regions we thought were geologically inactive, the forces of the Earth are still at work. And it reminds us that our planet is a dynamic, ever-changing system. Who would have thought that we in Germany, far from the known volcanic hotspots, would encounter such exciting geological phenomena? I will definitely produce a small documentary on site in the Upper Palatinate next year for you. If there is interest in it, feel free to let me know in the comments. If enough people want it, then I will do it and not just because of the delicious Palatinate beer. If you don't want to miss out and want to learn more about fascinating geological formations, then subscribe to my channel now. And if you still can't get enough, I have something else for you. Scientists have discovered the largest volcano in the world, almost three times larger than the Yellowstone super volcano. No joke, you can find everything about it and exciting original footage in the video shown. Be sure to click on it and travel with me to the Apalaki Caldera. And if you want to support the channel, I would be happy if you also watch a few of the older videos. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Take care, folks.